a senior Taiwanese defense official said that the island's military is well prepared in the event of any attack from Beijing at the height of outbreak of the pandemic worldwide. If the Chinese communists attempted to make any military adventure leading to regional conflict, they would be condemned by the world, and regardless of what would happen, we are already and have made the best preparation for this, said Taiwan's Vice Defense Minister Chang Wencheng. Last month three separate groups of People's Liberation Army warplanes approached the island while taking part in long-distance training exercises in the Western Pacific. This month another group of planes approached Taiwan in an exercise that analysts said was intended to show off their night navigation and all-weather capabilities. Taiwan's Air Force scrambled fighter jets to shadow intercept and disperse the PLA warplanes through radio warnings during each approach by the mainland's planes, according to the ministry. Those actions also prompted the U.S. to send two B-52 bombers on southbound flights off Taiwan's east coast, while a transport plane flew over the Taiwan Strait, the military said. The U.S. Navy also announced that it had carried out live-fire missile tests in the Philippine Sea, in what analysts said was a message that it was up to the challenge of the Chinese military's new systems. A Japanese naval destroyer and a Chinese fishing boat have collided in the sea off Shanghai but there were no injuries, Japanese media reported. The destroyer Shimakaze, from Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force, received damage to its port side. Both the naval ship and the fishing boat, with a crew of 13, were still able to sail under their own power, Japan's military said. It said the Shimakaze was on patrol after departing from the port of Sasebo. The defense ministry said it would cooperate with the Japanese Coast Guard investigation as well as launch a probe within the Navy. The incident occurred about 650 kilometers west of Japan's Yakushima Island. India's Ordnance Factory Board OFB has developed a new remotely operated weapon station or ROWS, armed with the Russian-designed NSVT 12.7mm heavy machine gun, according to the OFB portfolio. The new ROWS broke its cover at the DEF Expo 2020 defense show. The unmanned combat station was specifically designed to carry a combat-ready NSVT HMG which is mounted on a two-axis stabilizer. The ROWS can be used to engage both ground and aerial targets, with keeping its operator safe from threats, says the OFB. Originally, the station was intended for the upgraded Arjun Mark IA main battle tank. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.